Hey everybody, this is Alpha here. I'm going to do a review on a new episode of World Triggered. Now, this episode right here, which is episode 19, I gotta say, I actually had some fun times with it. Though, it is going to be simple to explain in, in other cases, so if I have nothing else to say, um, please forgive me. There's nothing much I could really talk about, so if anything else, let's go. Okay, at the beginning, we see to it that... Kuga Yuma, Chika, and Osamu meets up, you know, they talk to each other for a bit and take separate ways. There's a weird guy that's been stalking them or keeping an eye on them. Maybe Us Osamu himself, you know, but the moment... And it goes away there. As for Kuga Yuma, he ends up doing a lot of training and he actually mastered them all, which is pretty, pretty easy for him, you know. And he doesn't like that. <laughs> so he, But a person that decides to help him out and he considered a senpai... He says, like, um, okay, um, follow me. I'm going to show you how you can get way points way faster. And this brings Kuga Yuma to a good start because he can beat the heck out of anyone in rank wars and earn a lot of points. But, however, if he takes on someone that with less points, he won't earn a lot. He gets challenged by these three punks who acts all arrogant or something. And they're like, oh, we just got to pick on the weak, you know, easy way to get some points, you know, etc. And they want to be a book bookmark like that. And I go like, oh, I hope you're ready for the 1100. Because that was Kuga Yuma's number. And he beat them all like no tomorrow. And I go like, cool. And he challenges them again. And he beat them all again. And I'm like, I'm like yeah, show these freaking piece of crooks that crooks that. Show these piece of crooks the harsh real realities in life. Because they want to show harsh reality. Let them have it first. And the replica says, hey, you shouldn't take them on that often because just to break the spirit I go like do it I want to see how the spirit is broken because it's all depending on your cursed will and your own I brain to keep going you know as for Osamu you know he gets he, he he's been having some rumors spread about him very badly and I go like what a bunch of jerks you know but when Osamu ends up taking on um when Osamu's challenged by a guy named Miyo, I think Midori Kawa, I believe. I think that's the guy's name. I don't think it's shown. I don't think it was shown exactly, but I think it was called that way. So yeah, um, Kuga Yuma is just like grabbing a drink from the vending machine. As for Shuji Miwa, he's kind of keeping his eye on him as a, as like I'm. I have my eyes on you. You're lucky you're part of the border, border. Headquarters. Otherwise, I would have killed you by now. I go like, dude, you would not even have a chance against him, even if you tried. Just saying. And later on, Kuga Yuma gets challenged by a guy who actually, who, that gets challenged by a by a person. But the moment they go into the room about some rank wars thing, Kuga Yuma realized that Osamu is actually being um challenged by. Moniyakawa, and 10 rounds, he knocked him on his feet like no tomorrow, like, Mikumu Osamu did not even have a chance against him, and I go like, pretty sad, man, <laughs> no joke, but even Kuga Yuma asked uh, Mirokawa, like, did you attract all these people here, and Mirokawa says, no, probably, it's probably just like, um, Osamu, like, going head to head with, like, um, Kazuma, you know, that kind of thing. However, here's one problem though. Kuga Yuma says, okay. He used his side effect and says, you make the stupidest lies. And then I go like, ooh. And Kuga Yuma challenged them head on. Like, um, he says, tell you what, you take me head on, one on one. You win, you get to take all my 1500 points, the ones that he earned. And the guy says, you think you can beat me with just your training trigger? He says, "Yeah, it should be enough." He goes like, "Okay, if you if if you if I beat you, what do you want? Three thousand, five thousand points." However, Kuga Yuma says, "No, you're gonna be calling me. You're gonna be calling someone senpai." He goes like, "Huh? You older? Than, you're older than me? I thought you were younger than me because of height." But okay, I'll say senpai however much you like. However. Kuga Yuma tells him, it's not senpai you'll be saying to me. It's Osamu, my captain, you'll be saying it to. I go like, you're, gonna, you're in some deep down it right now, <laughs> Mirokawa. But 
I did see the preview in the next episode. They seem to be on even terms. I am not going to lie. That's for sure. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention like um, there's actually a see, uh, meeting between like um, the border border leaders of eight headquarters, you know, and they end up talking to each other like um, about Kuga Yuma, you know. Even Kazama himself, he doesn't really know. He does not really know, you know. He doesn't really know like um how 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 strong the guy is, so he can't really give a certain amount. And I go like, that's fine, you know, that kind of thing. One thing for sure I really want to see th see through is actually Kuga Yuma going up against Kazama someday. Like, literally, like, um, I'm not really sure how strong Kazama is, but he's really tough enough to beat the heck out of Mikumu Osamu. But I'm actually glad to see a fight between, like, uh, I'm going to see a fight between, like, a Minoru Rikawa and Kuga Yuma because it looks like Yuma looked really angry about what he did to Osamu right there. So... I'm actually looking forward to it. Hopefully, it brings up brings up a lot of hype to it. So, yeah, um, it looks like they seem to be on even terms when I looked at the preview. But I hope Kuga Yuma wins. You know. So, if anything, I'm gonna end it here. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace out. Bye bye.